Hello aspirants, welcome to Ekam IS Academy. Today we are going to discuss about an interesting environment topic that is mangroves, right? You might have seen what is a mangrove, so which is a coastal ecosystem which is there on the intertidal zone. Now let us discuss what is the context of this, why we are discussing. Before that there is an important announcement regarding TGPSC group 1 main stress series. So this is going to be start from 9th August. Right? So, in case if you want to practice well before the examination, you can have this facility of answering more than 600 plus questions in advance. So, where you are going to sit for almost 88 tests and including 59 daily tests as well as 12 sectional tests in six essay tests and there will be five regional tests along with one mega grant test. So your work, your evaluation copy will be given in three working days. At the same time, there also will be detailed explanation after the session, right? Then if you see, there is also one essay analytics module under the guidance of Oberoi sir. Sir will teach all the aspects of essay in, comprehensively in 30 plus hours. So which will definitely boost a score in essay in, as well as in ethics. So this has started from 29 July. If you want to avail this, you can contact us on the screen on the number displayed on the screen, right? So if you see here, why we are discussing this particular thing? First thing is, so there is a global mangrove alliance. So who actually was part of this different organizations, including IUCN. So they have formed this organization, especially to increase the population of, uh, you can see, to increase the cover of mangroves at least by 20% by 2030 across the world, right? So for that reason. So, but here on the occasion of World Mangrove Day, which normally forms all, which normally falls on 26th of July. So they have released a report of state of world's mangroves 2024, right? So when we started celebrating this July 26th as World Mangrove Day means it is from 2015 when UNESCO has declared this in its general assembly that this day is going to be marked for World Mangrove Day, right? Then so what is the highlight of the report? Let us understand this. So what is the distribution of the mangroves? What it said is the highest percentage of mangroves is in Southeast Asia. Almost 33% of the world's mangroves are there here. And country-wise, if you see, it is Indonesia. Indonesia accounts almost 21% of world's mangroves and highest among the Southeast Asian countries. Then area under threat, what are the global mangrove cover which is under threat means accordingly it said Indonesia where we have the highest percentage of mangroves, Brazil, Amazon rainforest and all. Then we also have Mexico. Right? So there also there is a threat. Almost most of the mangrove cover is being lost in these countries because of various activities. Then in India, if you see, they, this report has highlighted Lakshadweep Islands as well as the coast of Tamil Nadu where these mangroves are there. They are facing serious threat of extinction. That is what this particular report has highlighted. Then what are the reasons for loss? We have seen here the area is shrinking every day. But what is the reason for the losses? They said increase in the expansion of aquaculture related activities, palm oil cultivation. At the same time, shrimp cultivation. These are all the things which are mainly responsible for decrease in the mangrove cover according to this report. Then if you see what are mangroves, first we need to understand mangroves are those coastal ecosystems, saline you can say saline coastal ecosystems which normally live in or present in intertidal zone. This is a very important word which you need to mention. Intertidal zone means where two tides will meet each other like high you can say high tide and low tide will be there right so that is the region where we call this so then what are the types of mangroves means you have rhizoferocia we have anantasia we have lithracia then we all all have erythracia and all right these are the types of mangroves then what are the features so mangroves are so special for their unique features because you know mangroves generally survive in the saline environment because of which they have certain adaptations adaptations in the sense they adapt to the saline environment so first thing if you see what is the main adaptation here they are considered to have new metaphors new metaphors means they have blind roots that means they take oxygen from the atmosphere because in the roots they don't find oxygen because of saline environment then they also have vv parity vv parity in the sense the trees normally the seeds will germinate on the tree itself before falling on the ground only. This is one feature. Then they also have still roots. Right? This is another feature. Still roots means open roots. Then we also have the leaves of this particular tree will normally excrete more salt also. 
okay to fight against the harsh environments and all so these are certain features then let us see what is the mangrove cover in india you can see here we have in gujarat region maharashtra region goa we have kerala krishna godavari koringa you have in andhra pradesh pichavara mangroves in tamil nadu andaman and nicobar we have bitterkanika we have and sundarbans we have so these are the areas where we have mangrove cover then what is the mangrove speciality in india means you know world's largest mangrove is in sundarban you know sundarbans is a transnational mangrove boundary so where we have this between india and bangladesh so these two countries share commonly and you know sundarbans is a unesco world heritage site also right this is the highest mangrove cover in india second is bitterkanika in the state of odisha bitterkanika in the state of odisha so this is on the confluence of two rivers we have baitarani and brahmani these are the two rivers on whose confluence this bitterkanika mangroves are located right this is the highest first and second in india then if you see what is the importance of mangrove so first most important reason is they secrete carbon carbon sequestration means they capture carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and store it in their roots and then they are also providing habitat for various marine organisms they act as ecotone you know ecotone is a transition region between land ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem this is one another thing you have to keep in mind then they also filter out nutrients they also access coastal shelter belt they protect the shelter area, coastal areas from cyclones and tsunamis so these are the important features one need to remember with respect to mangroves then if you see what are the steps taken so in india we have launched in the last budget that means in 22 20, 23 24 budget union government has announced a scheme called mishti so what is mishti mishti is nothing but mitigation of shoreline habitats as well as tangible incomes this is an initiative where we are trying to provide afforestation of mangroves through certain funds this is what the main objective so we need to increase the mangrove cover so that we can have better coastal protection coastal community protection right then we also have global initiatives like at the global level we have global mangrove alliance global mangrove alliance so this is the present organization which we have discussed the report about right so this has really state of mangrove uh, mangroves in the 2024 report so this was launched by many other organizations in which you have to keep in mind are you seen in other organizations together have launched this initiative then there is mangrove alliance for climate mangrove alliance for climate so this initiative was launched by uae united arab emirates as well as indonesia so these are the things which you have to keep in mind with respect to mangroves so mangroves as an topic is very important in environment it can be asked in mains or in prelims also you need to know certain features as well as its habitat then if you see the practice question consider the following statements regarding mangroves mangroves are salt tolerant plants adapted to grow in coastal intertidal zones then we have mangroves help in protecting coastline erosion mangroves or the roots adopted to breathe in the water locked conditions how many of the statements are correct put your answer in the comment section then as we have reached the end of the video today we have discussed about what are mangroves so what what is the point of discussion because state of world's mangrove report was released recently by global mangrove alliance so we have seen what is the state or the highlight of the present report At the same time we also have seen where are mangroves and what are unique features of mangroves we also have seen with respect to india the location and the area wise which is actually having largest mangrove cover and all along with some other initiatives taken by india as well as global countries to protect the mangroves so along with practice question this is all with respect to this video if you found the video informative let us know in the comment section thanks for joining us have a great day